Hi everyone, good evening. I am Abby. Uh, I came uh, to speak boldly about my beliefs. Okay, uh, first and foremost, I am not a preacher. I am just a student of the Word of God. And I just discovered that when you read the book of the Bible, there will be revelation that the Holy Spirit can give you and then it will transform lives. So for us believers, I truly know that when we read the Bible, we learn more about God. He becomes closer to us because it is in His perfection that is brought into us that we become also perfect as the Father for us to have the power to manifest all of the great works of God to create miracles happen to heal the sick to transform wicked hearts to be hearts of flesh and most especially to understand the truth that God has even when it is full of mystery but inside of us we know and believe in him because of our faith and whatever requires faith is doing the will of God Therefore, I, I just want to be brave enough to speak loudly and boldly that Jesus is Lord and we must not be afraid for the reason that we are not angry at anything. But we are setting our foot ablaze against the powers of the enemy because no weapon formed against us shall ever prosper because we carry the sword of our uh, spirit and full, full armor of God in the world where there is a spiritual warfare but we are not here in this world to rage war against flesh or any human being because of course uh i i, I myself i want to be bold i want to be brave i want to do things for god i want to offer my life to god and i want to live life fully committed to the lord in whatever way that he wants to use me Although I know that there are so many things that I still need to learn, but I really want to be bold. Even if I'm not that too great as a person, I want to believe that Jesus is the source of all life and He is the source for all salvation for the entire world who is crying right now because of the evil prevailing and lurking at every corners of the world. So for every person who is believing in the power of the truth that is right inside of you, speak boldly about the faith, speak about love, speak about hope, speak about the true gospel. Do not be deceived by the enemy. Nowadays, there are so many things that are prevalent that are no longer in, in the scriptures that are written, but believing those false gospels. And we are scared about those things, not because, not because, uh, God is not in control, but we know that God is in control, but as believers, we have to move. We must not waver at anything that can distract us, but we must have the focus on learning the Word of God and knowing the truth that is in the Holy Bible. No matter what religion of a person is, it doesn't matter. What is important is the capacity of the person to love because God is love. When you know how to love, you know how to respect life. There is dignity in life. There is dignity in Christ. We have been saved because of Jesus who died on the cross, who shed his blood for the mercy and compassion for the entire world to be saved and have salvation and not to go to hell. And that is what God is. Jesus loves everyone. God loves us all. And just pray and put in your heart and say, Lord Jesus, I know that you are my Savior. You are my Lord. I shall not be shaken. I will always gain the peace that is in you because of faith. I, I, know, I never doubt that this country will be saved. This country will be spared from any evil because the mighty name of Jesus is in our lives, in our hearts, in our beings. And I pray and, and really invoke the help of the Holy Spirit to pour its glorious fire of protection, the fire of love, the fire of knowledge of the truth which is burning right inside of our hearts for the love, for the love of the world, for the love of the truth, for the love of God, Jesus Christ in our lives. I pray 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we will all be spared from any forces of the evil one because all of us who believe in God's power will rise up and prove that God is with us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.